about 12 years before he became the longest serving president. We were very lucky to be involved, but I hope everybody likes Good. it. Well, we'll watch and, and uh, we'll let you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Thank you. Hello, Kenneth. Hello. Uh, is it Kenneth always or is it ever Ken? Ken? It's usually Ken, actually. Ever Kenny? It is sometimes Kenny. What do you think about it? I heard a giggle there. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, some mates call me Kenny, yeah, but uh, it's mostly Ken. I don't mind. And when you were a child, was it Kenneth? Because it's very prop. But it, it, was it England or Ireland you grew up Ireland, in? Ireland. I grew up in Ireland. I hear a little birdie tells me you do a fantastic Irish accent. Oh, laddie, right? I don't get me started now. <laughs> No, 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 they said it was an Irish accent you did. Yeah. Right? So yeah. so just, uh, <laughs> what part, what that, part of Ireland was that? That's called? the northern tip of the land over to the left of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That sounds very good to me. Thanks very, very, very much. Convincing. And now, so, so you moved at what age to England? I was England? nine. I was nine when I moved to, uh, to England. And yeah. was it hard to adjust to the it, accent change? It was, yeah. I used to speak like that. I would talk like that. Sometimes I'd talk very, very quickly indeed. So nobody ever knew I was talking about it. I was about to was there at the time. Yeah. yeah, well, because it's so cold, and so you have to talk very fast. Exactly, yeah, 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 part of it. You get your teeth warm that uh -huh. way. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And did, no, did anyone make fun of you moving to, uh, with that accent? Or yeah, no? well, people didn't understand to begin with. They just, uh, you know, it was, it was only, and now, because of people like Liam Neeson, who's got his beautiful uh, Ulster accent, uh, people are much more used to it, but yeah. uh, people are a little more uh, intolerant then, so uh, it took a while. I kept my mouth shut for a while. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it is hard, I mean, to move yeah. to a new place. I just don't know, because more people in Europe move around, and I guess it's, it, you, you hear it more, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was difficult to begin with, but I think it's the way, you know, it's always a difficult time to move, isn't it, out, out of your... We, the, back in Belfast, you just knew where you were, you know. My, my mum had, like, was one of 11 brothers and sisters. Uh, my dad had uh, six siblings, so I had a 1,000 cousins, and everything was about visiting my granny and... You know, it was all just, you had a whole world. And so yeah. coming away and just being with my lovely and adorable mum and dad and my brother and my sister, but it's still, uh, we didn't have that kind of knowing everybody in the street yeah. kind of thing, you know, that was so nice. Yeah, that's really hard. Yeah. Now, were, were these taken, you brought your own. Oh, my God. These aren't oh. bad, bad school photos, but were these taken in uh, England or Ireland? Where I, you were probably still in Ireland. That looks young. I've got a, oh, <laughs> that was in Ireland, actually. That was in Ireland. Where How old are you the, there? I don't know, about seven or eight or That's something. adorable. Is it adorable? It that is. Funny little, this that little this I really love, and I love the outfit, too. It's adorable. Oh. Look at that. that <laughs> <laughs> Your little tie. Uh. It looks like a knitted tie as well. It was a knitted tie. My mum knitted it. She was a great She knitted knitter, a tie? Actually. She knitted a tie, yeah. You've you got to be bored to start knitting yeah. ties. <laughs> <laughs> it was, believe me, it was better her knitting a tie than a pullover. Really? You know, just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's that's... pretty exotic, well, pretty exotic work on the, on the jumper front, you know. Oh, really cute. Yeah, that's, I think everybody goes through that phase where your mom makes your clothes. Yeah, yeah, And, yeah, and then yeah. you can't wait to get out of them. Yeah, um. exactly. Yeah, it's that, what do you call them? I mean, I call it a jumper or a pullover or a, what would you, a, a sweater? A sweater. Sorry to be so thick about this. Yeah. Would you, do you call them jumpers here? Would you call it... Uh, from now on, I will. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I like nope. a jumper. I like the way that sounds. But I think a jumper, I think you're talking about a sweater. Is that what you're talking about right there? Yeah, that would be a jumper. That's yeah. a, yeah, yeah, that's a sweater. Yeah. You don't jump in it, but it's a sweater. It's, I no. suppose you sweat if you jump in it. But there, you know, yeah. that may be where Then it you become from. a, it, that's where a sweater came from. Yeah, okay. It was a jumper, and then when you jump in it, you sweat, and yeah, it's a sweater. Exactly. Yeah. A jumper. Yeah. 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 No, I, I've never yeah. known. Now I know, you see. That's the origin. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think what pants are, but anyway. <laughs> so, so tell me about Warm Springs, which I called Warm Things, which Warm is another things. movie. Yeah, no, I'd very much like to see that. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, or, or, although not appear in yeah. it, obviously. Uh, it, it's about Franklin Delano Roosevelt uh, and the time in his life when he contracted polio, uh, which was about 12 years before he became the longest-serving president. This terrible uh, condition struck him when he was 39, and uh, it's about how that changed his character. He went to a place called Warm Springs where there were these uh, mineral waters, very buoyant, very warm. If you have polio, uh, you feel the, 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 the circulation is improved hugely by being in warm water. You can do more therapy. Uh, and it was the beginning of, a, out of, uh, of an obsession with the place. So it's, a, it's about what, what changed his character from a sort of privileged uh, position to going to Warm Springs and meeting people that he just wouldn't have met before from mm -hmm. every social strata who were interested in being there to get better. Mm -hmm. And so they spoke to him much more directly and much more openly. He had a car built for him that he could use with hand controls. So he would drive out uh, into the Georgian countryside, stop and talk to people. So it was the point in FDR's life when he got to meet the American people mm -hmm. and talk about farming and unemployment and what the federal government were doing for them. So it was an amazing 
change in his character and, and a real, real honor to, to play. Yeah, well, you look great in it. I mean, as you are Thank and everything, you. but Thank and you it, very it, much. it looks really, really good. Thank you. It's very, it's very moving story. Very moving story. Well, I can't wait to see it. Well, and HBO always makes great movies. So they do. They're I love so HBO. Good. Yeah. So oh, good. I'm very connected with them. I've, I've worked with them for a long time. Good. So. They were so good on this, and they spend the money to do it, and they spend so much time researching it. So it's. A, we hope it's very, very accurate. Yeah. It's certainly, I think, very. Very moved. Well, I was, we were very lucky to be involved with. I hope everybody likes Good. it. Good. Well, we'll watch and, and uh, we'll let you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and which, can you can you yeah. get me warm things? Is there a video yeah. of that or anything? That, that I, I can... have a copy in my dressing room. Okay. I'll get it for you. Thank you. Thank um, you. Which is why it was so fresh on my mind. Yeah. I just okay. oh, I watch okay. them dance and then I watch a little bit of that. Yeah, um, okay. So. <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. When we come back, we're uh, going to go into the audience and play a game with the audience. We'll be right back right after this. We're back with Kenneth Branham. Since Kenneth is a Shakespeare expert, we're going to play a game called Shakespeare Cinema. Shakespearean dancing. It was, it was very, very Shakespearean, I okay. thought, of you. Right. Uh, okay, here's how we play. Kenneth and I are going to take turns reading famous movie lines, but here's the twist. Kenneth has translated the lines into Shakespearean English. So if our contestants guess the right movie line, they're going to win a prize. It sounds easy, but is it? <laughs> All right, let's meet our first contestant. Please stand. And you want to stand between Kenneth and I, please? And your name up is Vaweth? <laughs> Carly Kamikihara. Sorry? <laughs> Carly Kamikihara. Kamikihara. My, <laughs> my husband's Japanese. Uh, Kari Kamikihara. <laughs> Kari. Okay, uh, say uh, hello to Kenneth, though. Hello with. Uh, hello <laughs> okay. to you nice as to well. I wish I could All right, Japanese. Kenneth, you're going to go first. I'm going to go first. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the first line. It goes like this Oh, strange thing, life. Twas boxed as candy is. Uh, uh, life is like a box of chocolates? That's right. Hey, well He said this time. Uh, thou canst handle veracity. <laughs> Ooh, very famous one, this. I don't know. Somebody going like that. Yeah. <laughs> Did that help you? Yeah. All right. Even clear. Jack Nicholson? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but what is he saying? Um, uh, you can't handle the truth. You That's can't right. handle the truth! <laughs> All good. right, you want to welcome the Acoustics Microsystem CD Player hey. Radio. Thank you very much. Well You're number two? All right. Okay. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And what is thou its name? Deanne Thomas. Hi, Deanne. Hi. All right, and you live where? Arkansas. Arkansas. Can't you tell? Well, I hadn't talked to you long enough, but okay. <laughs> Give me a chance. Yes, yes, now I can. Southern yes. draw. Sure, now, of course. And this is Kenneth. Hi, Hi Kenneth. How are you? I'm good, thanks. She's nice from Arkansas. Nice yeah. Can you tell? Arkansas. 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 So, 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 so. That sounds Japanese now. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenneth, you're going to go first again. Okay. okay, okay. You might find this one easy. I hope. Um, Toto, my mind misgives. Kansas, this may not be. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz? Yeah, yeah. right picture. Yeah, yeah, right picture. Okay, say? say it one more time. Uh, Toto, my mind misgives. Kansas, this may not be. Toto. <laughs> <laughs> That's so easy. I, why can't I think of it? No, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, I want to go home. I want to go back to Kansas. You're so <laughs> oh! 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 Wow. <laughs> That's just dirty oh. that they would make that, that horrible sound. Oh, man. We hear it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, it's, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, yeah. okay. Right? Toto, yeah, Toto, that was I've, easy. Toto, I've got a feeling we're not, we're not in Kansas, Kansas anymore. anymore. Yeah. That's all right. I'm going to read. It. You'll catch up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. This is, uh, oh, come on. I'll give you a hint. Uh, this is Patrick Swayze. Okay. And he said, no one shall place the infant at the room's point. <laughs> No one puts Dee Dee in, uh, wait, no one puts Mimi in a corner. Baby in a corner. Yes! Hey! 